All right, so today on cooking in an RV, we are gonna make buffalo chicken soup. Not chili, not buffalo chicken dip. We're gonna make buffalo chicken soup. It's really good. Um, I, to be honest, I have had better at some restaurants and stuff, but this recipe is fairly easy and it doesn't have like heavy cream and that kind of stuff. I mean, it still it has cream cheese in it, has blue cheese, so it does still have something kind of similar to heavy cream, but it doesn't have like a, give you like that really thick, you know, I guess, really nasty this <laughs> to it. So, and you could always substitute, you know, the fat-free stuff with the cream cheese. So, but basically it's, what you're gonna be doing is sauteing up a couple of vegetables really quick throw in the chicken hot sauce with the vegetables and your like chicken stock, um, cook it in the Instant Pot for a little bit and then you're gonna add a little bit of cream cheese and blue cheese and it's basically done. Um, here is a thing with the recipe, it calls for a quarter cup of Frank's Red Hot Sauce, which is actually just kind of to make it like kind of a very mild soup. So once, which is a good idea to do because if you're serving a bunch of people or a family, not everybody likes it really spicy. So you make it mild and then you can add some more Frank's Red Hot Sauce afterwards, after it's cooked to spice it up a little bit. So, but again, basically you're adding that into there, then you add the cream cheese and the blue cheese afterwards and you're good to go. So it's a pretty simple recipe. You could really do it in a crock pot as well if you didn't have an instant pot. You could also probably do it just on the stove top. It would just take a little longer to cook the chicken and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the crock pot obviously would be like an eight hour thing versus, you know, like a 15 minute kind of deal. So the instant pot definitely makes it go a little quicker and a little easier, but you don't have to use an instant pot. You can always kind of tweak this recipe a little bit for either, like I said, a crock pot or just cooking it on the stove too. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is cut up our vegetables, which I already did. So you do an onion, uh, one large onion is what it calls for. Um, I had kind of two small to medium onions, so I did two. Um, and then two cups of celery cut up, you know, kind of as small as you can cut it up. If you have like that little slap chop thing, you know, it might be a little easier, I don't know. Um, I just used a knife. Um, I also added in an Anaheim pepper. Um, I've been adding that a lot to stuff lately. Um, it's got a good spice to it. It doesn't seem as like hot as like a jalapeno or anything, but it's, it's a little, it gives you a lot more spice and flavor than just like a sweet pepper or something like that, like a bell pepper. Um, so again, I'm throwing that in. You don't have to throw that in. You could do something else or leave it out, whatever. But I threw that in there too. So we're gonna turn our Instant Pot on saute, let it heat up for a minute. We're gonna add a touch of oil. Um, I've got olive oil, you could use grapeseed oils, coconut oil, whatever you want to use. You're using that just to kind of saute some vegetables up. All right, had to get a beer. I think it's heated up pretty well. So I'll add a little oil. Boop, boop. And we'll get these veggies in there. Okay, the recipe calls for four chicken breasts. I've got a package of chicken thighs. I think chicken thighs come out better in the Instant Pot than chicken breasts. They're just more tender. It's just more flavorful to me. Um, so there's like, was there's nine in here. And I think that's probably pretty close to four chicken breasts. So we're gonna get these cut into strips to get ready to go into the Instant Pot. Um, after the vegetables kind of saute for a couple minutes, the next step basically is to just throw all the stuff in, close it up. I also forgot too, while you're sauteing the vegetables, you have to add a little bit of thyme. But take all the time you want. <laughs> Again, if you're cooking, don't measure stuff. Eyeball it, it's just as good. 
So, but it calls for a teaspoon of thyme and a teaspoon of garlic powder. I like to use the minced garlic stuff better. I think it just has a little more flavor. So we'll throw some of that in there. So a little thyme, a little garlic. Be sure to stir it up so you're not burning the bottom of your pot. I also got the non-stick pot. I like it a lot better than the stainless steel. Mm. It's probably not gonna last as long as the stainless steel does. Um, You'll probably have to replace it every like couple years or so. Maybe even every year if you scratch it a lot. Um, but if you're using the non-stick one, make sure to use like silicone stuff or even maybe a plastic. Um, don't use anything metal because you'll scrape off the non-stick stuff. And then you need to throw it out. So you want to let the onions and celery cook. And if you're throwing in a pepper, you know, cook for probably about five or six minutes or so. Um, before you throw in the chicken and the hot sauce and everything and the chicken broth. So that'll kind of give you some time to just kind of cut up, kind of trim up your chicken and also just kind of cut it up into some strips. Because it does call for strips to be thrown in instead of just regular, you know, throwing in the whole chicken. So the vegetables are just about done. Um, so again, we're going to add in the chicken, hot sauce, chicken broth, close it up. And then when that's done, we'll add in a couple of extra things to the soup. The chicken, when I cut up the chicken, to be honest, I don't trim a lot off. Um, when you're making a soup or anything like that, fat's kind of flavor. It's kind of like a steak. Um, you know, it's just, I mean, yeah, it's not as healthy and that kind of stuff. Um, so you can trim it or you can kind of leave a little bit on like I do. All right, so let's add the chicken. Les sauce de hot. Can't waste hot sauce. And then it calls for four cups of chicken broth. This is the stuff I typically like. It's at Walmart. It's some organic stuff, which I don't really care about letters on a box. Uh, but it's a lower sodium too. Um, give it a good shake if you buy it in the carton, but this is four cups exactly. I always like to give it a little bit of rinse. A lot of times there's some good flavor stuck in the bottom. All right, so now we're going to seal it up. We do a manual 15 minutes with a 10 minute natural release. So make sure it's set to sealing. And we're gonna do manual. Missed it. 15 minutes. So like I said, 10 minute natural release, and then we just gotta add a couple things afterwards and we will be done with our soup. So while that's cooking, again a tip, while you're cooking in an RV or anything small kitchen wise, um, kind of do the dishes as you go. You don't want a huge pile of dishes to pile up. Uh, it's just, it adds a huge mess to the tiny bit of counter space you have, and it just makes it easier in the end. Like I'm not doing anything right now, I'm waiting for that to cook. Let's get these done, get them put away, and then I'll just have a couple of bowls and the inner pot for this to wash. And that's, I mean, the lid and seal and all that stuff too. Um, so it's definitely a good idea. Keep up with your dishes while you're working. It, it helps out a ton in the end. So all that's done. Uh, kitchen's basically cleaned up, took out the garbage even and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we are, ready for the next step. All right, so cream cheese comes in an eight ounce package. We need four ounces, so we need half. That's some good cooking math for you right there. So I'm gonna cut this in half. Just kind of set it aside. So I cut it in half, got my blue cheese ready. We're gonna let this warm up. This we just have to cut into some chunks before we throw it in uh, after it's done. And then I also kept out a little bit of Frank's Red Hot Sauce I have left. I like it a little spicier than what it comes out of the pot. 
so I add a little bit afterwards. Uh, but if you don't like it that spicy, it comes out pretty mild, so it's not that bad. Um, so my wife will have it how it comes out of the pot. Pretty mild. I'll add some zest to it. Um, if you really like it hot, you could add a little bit of cayenne pepper too. So before we add the cheese, we've got to shred the chicken. The recipe calls for you to like take out the chicken, like spoon it out and set it aside and cut it up. I like to just do it in the pot, just kind of get it as close as you can. Uh, use a couple spoons, that kind of a deal, or maybe a fork. You shouldn't really use a fork with a non-stick pot, um, but it usually comes apart pretty easy. I shred that chicken. Uh -huh. So chicken shredded, I've got to add a half cup of blue cheese. And like I said, half a thing of cream cheese, but we cube it up and then we toss it in. So you're just gonna stir it until basically like all the cheese is melted and stuff. All right, so this is ready. Make sure to save a little bit of blue cheese to put it on top. And we can also garnish it with a little piece of celery if you wanna get fancy. Save the little celery leaves and you can stick it on there kind of a deal. Um, otherwise, just eat it plain. Um, and like I said too, if it's not hot enough, add some more sauce as you're cooking it or as after you serve it and stir it in. Uh, otherwise, like I said, it comes out of the pot like pretty mild. So add some sauce as you go. If you want it really spicy, add a little bit of cayenne pepper. All right, so that's it for buffalo chicken wing soup. If you have any questions, I'll put them in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and all that kind of deal. And watch for future videos. We will see you next time.